It's update time for the Swan Valley Richardson Pioneer Elevator. If you've been following along, you know that throughout the construction process, we're showing you how the site is progressing. When it's all done, you'll see a full episode that puts this all together into one package. Of course, if you're watching later on and it's already finished, search up the channel and you'll find that full episode. Today, though, we're going to show you a lot of raw video that won't be in the finished episode, so stick around. I think you'll find it interesting. Tons of people are super curious about how the actual pour works. We'll look at it for a bit, then at the end I'm going to show you just a long shot of the crew working so you can see how it looks in real time. It's actually super interesting to watch such a precision project high up in the sky. The site is obviously looking different now. We're on day four of the seven day pour, so the elevator is a little more than half done. That platform keeps moving up and the actual elevator is easy to see under it now. So a bit about what you're seeing. The yellow arm is the concrete pump. It's bringing the concrete from the ground where the trucks unload up to the top. The big white crane brings all the other supplies. Rebar, stairs, and everything else goes up that way. Except people. There are stairs on the side for that. You can also see a pile of stairs on the ground. As the platform gets taller, they install a new batch of stairs on it every so often. If you've been in Swan over the last few days, you know there's a continual stream of concrete trucks coming to the site. Slip forming is a continual process, so this is going on 24 hours a day from the moment they started until it's all finished. By never stopping, they never have a seam to worry about. It's just one big elevator all built together. There are some things you might not think about either. For example, they need porta potties up at the top so workers don't need to come down to use the washroom but they need to get emptied. And how do you do that? Well, you bring the entire porta potty down, empty it, then send it back up. We happened to be on site when they were moving a porta potty just to show you how that works. It's probably one of the last things you think about needing to do to make an elevator, but if you're up there all day, it quickly becomes one of the most important. We're going to jump for a minute at least away from the site to the cement works building. We're in Swan River here. We're obviously doing some filming and I'm showing you the money shot that's going to end up in the final product. But I won't say how long I waited for this truck to come out. We get to see the truck come out and head off towards the site. All the concrete work being done at cement works. Now if you look around in the background there you'll see some interesting stuff. They've got an extra cement tank set up there so they don't run out of cement powder and there's lots of cement powder tankers coming into town to make sure they have enough cement powder to do this job. They can't run out of cement because they can't stop pouring for seven days continuously. So it's kind of cool. And they're buying the cement locally, which makes me pretty happy because anything that's making more jobs in the valley is a good thing. In fact, you may have been seeing on Facebook some of the guys working at the site. I know at least one of their dads is posting some photos of the site every day. They're pretty cool and they're pretty pumped that a lot of local people got hired here. So it's money coming into the community and that is always a good thing. Well, we'll watch the concrete truck drive off, then back to the site we go to show you what I think is the super coolest part. So on to what I think is the main event in this video, watching how it works up top. You've probably driven by a slip form site before and maybe you've even come out to watch this one, but from the ground you don't see what the guys are doing up there. Today, you get to see. Now we're a fair distance off with the drone because we don't want to actually fly over top of workers should anything happen to the drone and we end up ruining an elevator. So we're using a zoom lens here. That's why it's moving around a little bit and it's not as clear as it always is, but I think you'll agree you can still see what's happening. And if you look here, you can see a lot of interesting stuff. First, check out the two flags. They've got an American flag and a Canadian flag. This project is by Todd and Sargent. They're from America, but they're obviously working in Canada. And you know Americans love their flags, but they also love our flag when they're up here. So they have both flags prominently displayed. And if you look from the ground, you can even see them at the site. Coming a little bit from that, if you go down towards the left-hand side, see how the yellow arm is just showing in the edge there? That's the concrete pump. Look how much it's moving. It's a little bit windy when we're filming, but it's not too bad. But between the wind itself and, of course, the pressure of the concrete, it has that much movement in it by the time it gets to the top. That's why there's a rubber hose that comes over so that the form can move independently of the crane arm and keep from wrecking everything. 
See how the pipe comes across? Now, at first, you might think to yourself, they're pouring concrete down the middle of the elevator, but that's not it at all. See the guys with the wheelbarrows coming? If you watch close here, you'll see them coming back empty. They disappear under there. That's actually a platform that they can fit under. Well, the concrete's going into the wheelbarrows while they're there. Once the wheelbarrow is full, they come out, and you'll see them go and dump it down the form. So I thought they would have the crane up there and they'd be moving the hose around. I've poured a lot of basements before. That's how we do a basement. It seems so simple to me. That's how you do an elevator. But it's totally not how you pour an elevator like this. The concrete stays in one place. The wheelbarrow is what moves it around. Kind of like doing a basement floor, but obviously not the whole floor. You may think that the silos are hollow too, but see how the platform's built all across? The only holes in the platform are where the concrete's going to get poured, so the guys can come and go and work around there. And if you've been watching here, you see the wheelbarrows back and forth, back and forth. Now, I didn't watch long enough to figure out what the pattern is, but I'm sure they have a very specific pattern to make sure they're always putting a little bit of concrete in each spot. Here's what it looks like from out back. This is where the drone actually is, quite a ways back, and that's why that shot wiggled a little bit. We're going to show you a different angle here. This is a little bit later in the day, so the sun's a bit different angle. We're going to go behind the elevator so we can see up a little bit closer up without being over top of anybody and show you what it looks like too. To get you properly oriented here, we're now at the back of the site. The concrete pump is on the other side and the camera is looking east. So everything's a little backwards than before, but we're still seeing it. You can see the crane moving in there as they bring some more equipment in. And the angle of the sun's a little different, so we're seeing some shadowing here. But we were able to get closer. This is a two-time zoom look from the drone. In a moment here, I'm going to go all the way into the four times look. This is what it looks like if you were zoomed in all the way. So you can see it pretty close, still with being a safe distance away. We're going to come back out here in a second so you can see the whole thing. When we're all done editing this together, it's going to be a really beautiful video that shows you from start to finish, and it's going to be a lot shorter. But what I know a lot of people want to see is this. So we're going to leave you with this shot so you can simply watch how they're building this elevator from a viewpoint that maybe you can't get any way else. You will notice there's lights all the way around there. We're filming in the day, but this goes on 24 hours a day. So the lights come on. If you do go out there at night, you can see all the lights. If you're going to the site, the concrete trucks come in off the highway. They go down the gravel into the last driveway into the site. So if you're going to go watch, please go past the end of that driveway so you're not in the way of the concrete trucks. They don't want to go around you, and we certainly don't want an accident to happen. So the more time you spend a little further on, great the best viewpoint though is what you're seeing right now you won't see anything like this out of the site i will leave you with this and hey by the time this elevator is all done we will have the full episode ready for you and if you're time traveling and watching this later than november of 2021 well that episode might be ready already the best way to know when it's ready is to subscribe to the channel we're still trying to reach our goal of a thousand subscribers so why don't you click that subscribe button go find some friends get them to do it too and in the meantime, enjoy watching the new elevator be built.